Yeah. yeah. I'm Dr. Oxable. Actually, I since he's posing as Dr. Oxable. Um, 42 out of 40. Okay. Uh, uh oh. I I Indeed. Good? Okay. So, Dr. Hexagon. Um, <laughs> so you're a little Russian roulette. Russian. <laughs> Can I get a little check, please? <laughs> you wanted someone to die, Mr. Hexagon. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> you're woken first, actually, um, by uh, when the door to your room is bursts open. <laughs> Fetz and another police officer come in, just right. walk into your room. Nice. Uh, sees you. Like, sees or like sees? Sees. Oh, okay. him. Yeah. Uh, and you claim you're under arrest, yes. What does the man do? Can I make a listen check since he burst the door open? Um, yeah, I'll let you make a listen check. You're close enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm screaming. What is the meaning oh, of this? Oh, you are screaming? Okay, everybody can make a listen check. <laughs> Unhand me, but he must. <laughs> Dang it. I made it barely. Oh, the deaf guy. I get it. I made it. Yeah. Okay, you guys are hearing yeah. hear this screaming and yelling going. Uh, yeah. Wait. I'm dead asleep. Wait. Okay. Um, yeah, so they now. tell you you're under arrest oh. for suspicion <laughs> and you're going to be questioned. Um, you guys hear this, the yelling and stuff. Is, are you guys looking out of your doors? Are you coming out? Yeah. What's the vibe? Well, I didn't hear him. Did I hear him? I'm still saying <laughs> because I've got you. I got it. I got it. I'm just still alive. You stumble out. Yeah. 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 I got your out and I'm staying in this door. Keeps the door closed. You're just like laying in your bed. One gun drawn. Just kind of, you know, peeking out. Oh, okay. Just in case. I'm just kind of standing here. Just in case. You got a house name? Okay. Yeah. Nice. These okay. guys have nice. Oh, your gun. But I'll, I, you stumble out. There's I no pulled one. it out, but I'll probably I stumble out with it. him, still in disguise and insisting that I'm Dr. Carl Huxley. Oh my god, this could work in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> no, his disguise is awful. They don't have a lot. Okay. They grab you as well. Alright. And they I'm, grab you. I'm gonna resist. What is the meaning of you resist? I'm gonna resist. Okay. Oh, um, I've got a strength of 16. Control. You're resisting <laughs> against the police? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. Right okay. So right. you're, how are you gonna resist? I've got a grapple of 65. So when you're I'm trying to grab the other officer? <laughs> yeah. Boom. All right. Get on the Fence has you. Fence has got you by He's got no right to be doing He's not doing anything violent. He's just telling you you're under arrest. I want to headbutt the cop. He comes out. Okay, attacking a police officer will probably if not get you thrown in jail, it'll probably get you shot. <laughs> if he grapples, I headbutt. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were drunk, right? Me. Yeah. So. He is. He grabs you by the arm. Oh, well then, yeah, I'm grappling this guy. Okay, so, but you're drunk, right? <laughs> yeah. So knock your grapple check in half. Jesus. Okay. Oh, so it's yeah. kind of wasted. That's another 32. bottle that's stuff. Wasted. Like 32. <laughs> this is going to be the best 32. grapple of all time. <laughs> if he makes it, I'll laugh. <laughs> get a one. 34 to 32. Oh! 34 to 32. Okay, you clumsily try to grapple him. Yeah. Um, I don't have that. It's obvious he's Yeah, okay, so you're just, you're like, I better just stay. Like, I was ready for it, but when he messed up, um, like, mm -hmm. He backs away as you as you struggle oh, and draws his sidearm and points it at you. And, and you're ordered to turn around and put your hands behind your back. I spit on the floor and I, I turn around. Okay, and then he handcuffs you. Um, Grabs you by by the cuffs. You are also I am Dr. the Carl same Huxley. cop. Look grabs you. <laughs> Does this other cop have a name? Uh, I, I'm nobody knows. Nobody's met him. Yeah, this is the same cop that ran you out of the park when you were trying to pay him for gold too. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, I recognize it's only you. Two cops both. <laughs> He says, I, I mean, recognize you, too. Come on, come on. Where's your friend? I want to specifically scream for Manfred Donald. Manfred right Donald! Give me Manfred Donald. Check. Actually, everybody can give me another listen check. <laughs> 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 I'm going to do another listen You know. <laughs> you, just, you don't have to. You I'm care. rolling nice and loaded. No, I am yeah. super asleep. Still asleep? Uh, we are both out. That as well. okay. I mean, you already like your listening, though. Yeah. You're in the hallway with me. You made your first listen check. Can I do that? Yeah. You hear this. You're going to hear it. Manfred fails it. Manfred fails it. Manfred, you're like... Adventures of Manfred. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls over and goes back to sleep. This is cool. Manfred, help. Okay. Is there another one? Uh, yes. I don't use that one. Oh, you're taken away. For now. Uh, you're thrown into a cell. Uh, you said, and Fett says to you, he says, we'll get your accomplices soon enough. Okay, and they lock you up. Um, you guys, you know what's happened. You were peeking out, and you could overhear the conversation. You recognize Fetz's voice, uh, and you didn't recognize the other police officer's voice because you've never met him. 
Uh, you, the rest of you guys all slept through it. Did you guys make any she, listen checks? She, I listen checks, but I didn't win. Yeah. You failed? Okay. So you guys slept through this. You're, you're on a different part of the hotel than okay. the, this, the, this was this happening. Uh, you three are locked in jail. Um, you're told that you're being held under suspicion. You're not told what you're held under suspicion of. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. I'm like shaking it. Everybody else slept, so. so no, no, I, I was away. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what's going on, too. Our mama knows what's going on, too. So, I'm not going to deal with the guys in jail at the moment. What are you guys going to do? I'm going to be like, whatever, go back to sleep. You go back to sleep. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took Dr. Hawk's blue. I don't particularly like that much. It's okay. I made it fun. Okay, well, what are you going to do about this? Right now, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I can't deal with this right now. I'm gonna go talk to this like, walk over because do, do I see him? Do I see you? Are you in the room or something? Uh, I'd uh, say there's a. Did you even open the check. door to I look out? You just listen. Door. I just listen. No, you don't know anybody no. else is awake. The only door that, that cracked was yours, and you closed it fairly quickly and yeah. listened. Yeah. So you don't know anybody else has heard this commotion. None so, of the other doors of the hotel open. Just hang for. Or, um, yeah. I mean, um, so so. Angus. And yeah, Angus's so door, so and, and he came out, and there was a tussle. Silver 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 yeah. So, so what guys were going to be like? Silver what? It was Silver Smith. Silver Smith. Yeah, I don't like that. That's an awful name. It's not a real name. <laughs> so when the luckies are What time in the morning is it, by the way? Uh, this was like 6 a.m. So this is probably when I'm getting up anyway, around this time. It could be, yeah. I'm going to yeah. keep these police officers up by just yelling at them. It's like the all night. <laughs> are we in the same cell? Yes, you do. I'm as far away from them as like that's fine. Am I in the cell? You're still in your pajamas. Do you do you sleep in your in, no? You guys are still you guys yeah, passed out in the room. Yeah, yeah, so you're still in your still clothes. Disguise. I'm, I'm in disguise. Nice, but you sleep in pajamas. I've right? got like the full on like the facial cream. <laughs> Wait, no, no, he didn't bring okay. extra clothes though. <laughs> oh, you're right. You didn't bring extra clothes. Because you expect to have this done by now. Yeah. Okay, so you're in your suit. You're probably going to have to go buy some clothes tomorrow. Oh, what's up, bro? Okay, so you're going to in the cell. What, you what are you doing? Yeah, are please. you doing anything? You're getting up. What are you doing? Uh, after I hear, hear all after this, the cops um, leave, yeah. apparently Oxville's in jail. That, yeah, that man, I can't believe set back the, the investigation. It might. And then I, I say about? that sarcastically and go back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> 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 Do I hear this? No, I mean, not, he wouldn't say it loud enough for people. I guess so. that's practical. Oh my goodness. I just yelled at the adventures of Macrodon will be taken off right now. Okay, okay. Listen up, guys. Listen up. What are you guys doing? You guys get up eventually. Oh, okay. Now we're awake. Yeah. It's an hour to go down for breakfast. And you have breakfast, and you notice there are three people. Missing, down for two breakfast. people missing from the group that came up here as a group, and you don't see any sign of the really snazzy, fancy pants lawyer anywhere. Well, you can I believe well, I mean, Sir I Dr. Oxtable was arrested last night. What? <laughs> I'm not the only one that takes surprises. Is that the only British name? Ah, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Shut up. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I heard Wait, listen, what's his face? Out there. Can we do a? Can I do a listening thing to their table? Yes, go ahead. You can see That's a wretched. Okay, I'm gonna wake up. That's so. You're up. You wake up. I'm assuming you guys are having breakfast. Oh, I need to. Yeah. Well, thank you. So he brought this up at breakfast. The doctor Huxley got arrested last this morning, early hours in the morning. Doesn't. Oh wow. Do you know what they're taking for? I can't hear my sneak over. They just said they were arrested for suspicion. I said he does sneak over. Yeah. They also said they were coming after their conference. They can't tell them I assume that means us. Wait, we have a lawyer. Hey, you're a lawyer. Hey, you're a lawyer. Yeah. Have silence, kid. Yeah. I'm Dr. Carl. <laughs> 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 not sorry. there. If you guys aren't there, shh, shh, shh. This is the role playing of breakfast and trying to figure out whether or not anybody's actually going to come to your aid. How many police are in this town? Uh, you don't know for sure. You've not actually asked. How, what would I guess? I know. There's three. There's, uh, that's what no, I've been no. told. There's three. Shut up. He didn't even ask it. <laughs> no information that somebody could ask me a question, don't oh. answer it. Unless uh, they ask you the question. I thought he was asking him. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. but I still... Did I you say that? Okay, you said that out loud and he said three. Okay. Three um, bullies. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm gonna okay. Go. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just taking note of it, basically. That's um, So, um... This is weird. Basically, they're going to come for us at night, it seems? Why would they arrest us? Uh, Fetz is a little off his rocker. I mean, I got that. Per se. 
I got somebody who pulled a gun on us. Question: <laughs> <laughs> Is the jail near where they are? No. Oh, since not where they are yet. And I'm not going near that. You could. Yeah, maybe we join them. Dude, they I take the empty yeah. seats. Yeah, yeah, you guys can come over and join them for breakfast. So we're here. You, especially you know her, and you know yeah, it was Doctor Natalia. Oh, and okay. I'm gonna. Since he got arrested. Uh huh. I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to figure out what's going on here because obviously, obviously, no, no, <laughs> bad, bad. I told you everything you The know. police is after us, and for no good reason, unless there is a dirty cop, or there's there, yeah, there are crooked cops, and they're coming they're after us yes. because we're investigating oh. this murder. Also, I snuck. I'm gonna tell them about the other. Yeah, they join. You guys join. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them about the disappearing hobo. Yeah, do it. Okay. Tell us. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, tell them. Tell them. Tell tell we weren't we were look out in the woods, to see if uh, in the park to see if anybody had seen the um, disappearance, the the event last year. Uh-huh. And we found this uh, hobo named Red, and he told us about his friend Jackie, who vanished, mm-hmm. had tracks leading into a bush, and then there were no tracks leaving, just gone. And this was in the park. And he was this was also in the park, and it was when. Um, a year before. A year before? Exactly. Uh, not so quite. A little bit, what was a little bit this? earlier. What was the day? What day? July. F- no, it was June. June of 23. June but of he didn't actually have the actual date. June of 23. 23? Yeah. What was his name again? Doesn't that seem familiar? Right. <laughs> yes, it Red. does. Did he tell you the guy who is missing his name? Middle of June 23. Jack. Middle of June Jack. Jackie. 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 Yeah. Oh, did he have I'm a date? Probably. No, no, he didn't give me an exact date. He said middle of June, 23. Well, we found a newspaper article of another person being ripped yeah. right? Yeah, and that happened in July of 1924, according to the newspaper article. The weird thing is that both, or, or April 21. both the statements from each newspaper article have, or both of them, who said it? Which I brought to breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Who said it? It quotes Sergeant Fetz and they're identical quotes for both of the articles. For One in articles. April 11th of 1921 and the other July 14th, 24. He said the exact same you could thing say about the event. Can I see the, uh, yeah, see the article? Of course, they get passed around and everybody gets to read the article. That's the physical, that's them, so that you guys want to look at them. Yes. Yeah. And, um, not you, you're not But there. it strikes me as interesting that there was a murder in on April 11th of 1921, mm-hmm. July 14th, 1924, another one in the middle of June 1923. I want to go back to the newspaper office and see what happened on May 12th, 1922. And maybe there's a pattern. Oh, there's some Which would mean we should be pretty nervous in about two weeks on <laughs> August 15th, 1925, if there is a pattern. To these horrible events happening in the city. August fifteenth. You nailed it down to an exact date. <laughs> well, that's the pattern, that's right? Cool. Pattern, April eleventh. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> if it's the middle of June, if that happened to have been June thirteenth, okay. the murder of Sarah yeah, Porco was July fourteenth. Wow. Boom. I just, I, w- but I, I don't know if there was something that yeah. happened on May twelfth. I want to know if there were any mysterious occurrences. So I'm going to go back to the library. Yeah, li- yeah my somebody newspapers. should go the back newspapers. to the newspaper office yeah. to yeah. look up that date. I'm supposed to be going to the police station to interview the cop who found the body on April 11th. Right? We can split up, and I can go to the newspaper while you go to the sure cops. Because I'm yeah. afraid of this man. John and okay. I are going to go investigate. No, I'm gonna wait. When you say oh. I'm gonna go to the cops, don't go to the cops. I'm gonna go find Roger yeah, Nelson. That's what he said. As soon as no, you mention that, don't, don't go, to the cops. go to the. If you can find Roger Nelson away from the police department, okay, you might be able to talk to him then. Maybe but I never don't, don't go, go to the, in police, the police department. department. Especially okay. if there's crooked cops, that sounds dangerous. Especially since three of okay, I won't go to the police department. There's three of them. There are only three cops. Yes. That I know. We could have taken them. How many days? That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, that you know. It's August 1st. Say again? Is it August 1st? Today is the 31st. Today is the 31st. July 31st. There were likely too many. This town isn't big enough for many cops. 16 days? Well, like, well, I can see. Yeah, July 31st. Well, keep keep in mind the fact that uh, the state police are only one phone call away from any police officer anywhere. Yeah. Where's the 
Cut so you gotta act lines. fast, guys. <laughs> so you have to, you have to kill all of them immediately. Okay. And I think it's a good idea to I know, uh, my guy is like, okay. so, but he, he thinks that's the right. Where's the college at? Uh, it's towards the center of town. Um, <coughs> yeah, that whole area is the college. Yeah, we're walking towards the, I'm walking to the uh, newspaper office. Okay. You're going to the newspaper office. I thought, are you going to the newspaper office? I am. I'm supposed to be finding a police so officer, not at the police station. The plastic surgeon and the PI are going to the police office. Oh, we have a I mean, PI? to the, okay, to the I didn't newspaper know. office. I'm going. What is this, John? What are you? Oh, I'm a, uh, antiques, uh. Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's an appraiser. So I'm so. a, uh. But you don't even yeah. know what his job is yet. Yeah. He dresses like nicely, but not ostentatiously. Okay. I didn't um, know what they looked like. Oh, yeah. Um, I dress in a nice suit. He's old. I dress right. in a nice suit. Right, I know, suit. and those two. I oh, these, these, these two? These three. I know what you look like. She dresses in, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty pissed. And then you just described to me. I dress in kind of nice suits, but not like ostentatious clothes. I'm, I kind of look as best as I could at, as a uh, regular guy. Yes. yes. Where's a hat? I dress in a nice suit, have a fedora, you know, look like a private investigator. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you two guys are going to the newspaper office. All right. I'm looking You're going to go try college. to find this Not police officer. Station. Okay. You two are we heading are for the college, college to Hardy Carlson. To find out about Hardy Carlson. Yeah. Yeah. What do you two need to do? They are going to be exact. What are you What are the part of the you want to do? She wants to see if the victims have anything in common. Okay. Um, she only responds to. So maybe go to the university and ask about. Uh, the you can that's where these two. Do you want to go with them? They were planning on going to the university. Are you going to go with them then? Yeah, and I'm going to try to catch what? up on the conversation. I was. What's Manfred going to do? Manfred's going to try. Getting You're dressed, try. equipping his special bandana. Oh no! Put over his face. Only time will tell. He's going to be killed. No, I'm not Obviously, going to he has seen someone. Are you going to the police station? Yeah. I'm going to scope out the police station. Okay, so you're just yep, going to kind of check it out. Yeah, I'm not going to the police station. Okay, so well, newspaper yeah. office. Um, you you've met Richards before. You haven't. He's about fifty. He offers you a jolt when you come in. Takes a swig out of his bottle of whiskey. Um, I'm going to ask him to look about look at his newspaper more. Whiskey? Yeah, it's Canadian whiskey. I only drink vodka. No, oh, oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you guys, he lets you, you want to go look in the morgue? Feel free. We look up the date. Uh, May, uh, May what? You think whiskey You're not there. Oh. Do you so? No, you're not there. But I have the Who took the, okay, all right. Yeah, I took the real stuff. Okay, all right. So you figure out the date situation. Was that the one that said the... You guys can look. And I'll need um, a um, April. Yeah, May 12th. library okay. chat from each one of you guys. And I'm assuming that's something like May 12th. Yeah. 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 Checking around the whole library library use on the percentile. Yeah, I made it. 14 out of 50. Okay. I got 26 out of 40. So we both win. Um, there's there are no like deaths at that time, um, but you do find um, a couple articles in the May and June of 22 area. That seem to be related to missing people. And those are Smith, then, once you've read it, please hand it off to to Nissa. Um, you're looking for the cop. Um, that's going to take you probably quite a while. I'm going to do the college people first. What were you doing? Uh, you're with them. People, okay. Yeah. Um, so Holland. <laughs> Uh, they took him with me. Oh, yeah, I was last that night. Name I was oh, yeah, wondering no. about that book you said. It was powerful or something. Do you have this book? Um, I meant powerful in the way of just general okay. knowledge. Because knowledge is power. Right? Knowledge is power, yes. The more you know. The more but you no. Know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but. Do you yes. have this book? Do I have this book? Is or that journal? See, I got a journal to adventure. To show off my stuntman skills. Why do you want to know? I'm curious because if you had it, I would like to look at it. Why are you so curious? Anything of the occult. <laughs> 
just makes me curious. It's just uh, old stories. None of it's really true anyway. Do me a spot hidden quick. <laughs> no, this is just to see if you know if you kinda notice something. Okay. It's me. Nope. Okay, keep going, keep going. Um, with, when it comes to anything occult, whether it be rumor or not, I still like to investigate. Um, that would be back in my private records in um, Providence, Rhode Island, locked up in my safe. Would you mind if I looked at it at some point? Um... <laughs> And you get to the cop. <laughs> oh, look. look. Okay, so you guys start asking about who? We sh uh, uh, Car Hardy Carlson. Hardy Carlson, okay. We should go ask professors. Yeah, there yeah, are some professors here. Professor. There are also a few people, administrators, uh, secretaries, that kind of stuff. Like you talk to a few of the professors. Here. You also talk to Velma <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> she is the department secretary for the math department. You find out that Hardy Carlson was a math professor. Uh, he died on April 11th, or sorry, uh, around the end of April, which is what you find out. Um, his body was found in the classroom by Officer Roger Nelson of the local police. Uh, reports are that the body was mutilated beyond recognition. You, um, this is going to probably take you guys all day to find out this information. I'm talking to various professors and right. mainly to Velma. Velma handled a lot of this. So, wait, was he, did he die on the... I need your teeth to Yeah, those, uh, Caitlin brought those to share with you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Um, the, yeah, it was April 11th, is what you could do uh, as you start talking to some right. people in 21. We're having a secret right. conversation over here. A secret conversation? Yeah. Who, who's we? Uh -oh. Me and the lady who were at the morgue. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh -oh. um, just be ready to tell me what you talked about later. Um, what you find out um, is that uh, he worked late at night frequently. I can't believe they took me, sir. Dr. And, um, Carl, I went to jail. He was working on something to do with suit. calculating pi. Okay. Calculating you have no clue. Pie. That yeah, no. Your character would be the gruffy old. What's, what's apple pie got to do with it? Uh, <laughs> calculating the value of pi. Um, he wrote a paper, uh, it might be in the library. Uh, from April to November of 20, 1920, he went to uh, he went on sabbatical at the University of Alexandria, and while there, he made several trips throughout the Middle East, studying medieval Islamic works on math. He brought back with him, um, and was very proud of them, to the occasional irritation of, of his colleagues. This is one of the other math professors talking to. Uh, he was quite excited about what he managed to learn. He felt that he, he was about to make some breakthrough in discovering a new, more efficient formula for calculating pi. Um, we find out that he was single, had no living relatives. Um, Velma, Velma, Velma Valentine made the funeral arrangements. It was a closed casket ceremony, yeah. she says. Um, his, uh, his estate was handled by, uh, his lawyer was Josh, Josiah Black. And she looks, she's got a little, she got a little file, uh, a little filing thing. Okay. And she pulls out one of his cards. She goes, here's his card. He's downtown. What's his name? Josiah Black. Josiah, Josiah Black. Yes. Okay. Uh, you find out from one of his colleagues that he lived north of town in a, in a farmhouse okay. outside of town. Up uh, River Road. Uh, let me see this man. Uh, no, up uh, North Farm Road. <laughs> um, Damn, man. And then he bought the house, the land cheap in 1920. Uh, he had to have the house built there because I guess something about the old house got burned down in 19 or something. Okay. Um, then you hear us screaming your name. The cops have been down, is what you find out. Um, some kind of a raid on some kind of a religious organization. Religious? They're not sure. This was like six years ago. Wait, there's a religious organization? Yeah, some kind of, yeah, there was a raid, the cops burned down the house. And then uh, Carlson, Carlson? Yeah, Carlson bought the land and uh, built, built his house there. Do we find out if there's any connection with him and McCorkendale? No. You don't find any kind of connection with McCorkin, though. That name doesn't ring a bell with anybody who's there. Okay. Some point, guys, like, isn't he the farm assistant? Mm -hmm. who's and that's all the information you get. Um, Do we know anything about Carlson? Valentine says, Carlson? say what? Do we know anything about Carlson? You're learning it right yeah, now. Oh, you're, okay. you're learning from colleagues. It's, this is going to take most of the day for you guys to find out this. Gotcha. Uh, Valentine, Miss Valentine says that there was a, the, the cops didn't really investigate very well. There was a cop in charge, Bats, Bits. Um, 
Oh, Sergeant Fetz, that was his name. And he asked like two questions. He said, did anybody see anything? And did anybody, did he have any enemies? And that was the last that I heard from him. Um, and uh, yeah, one of his officers cleaned out the whole classroom, took everything and put it into, to put it somewhere, I don't know, evidence or files or something. And there was a blackboard and there was a bunch of, there was some paperwork. Uh, and they said it was evidence. Because it was in the room when when Carlson, Mr. When Professor Carlson died, um, we never got it back. But I, I, wherever they keep those things, probably where they're keeping it. So Carlson's dead. Yeah, Carlson died in nineteen. No, in uh, twenty twenty one. Uh, he didn't have an office. He just worked out of his classroom. And you even find out from one of his colleagues that Carlson's dad was American. Uh, his mother was from Egypt, and he spoke spoke fluent Arabic. But he always complained that his reading scared her rusty. And both his parents are, have been dead for years. Like, I don't hear any so that's like the information dumped of, of asking around all day about Carlson that you guys find out on campus. Are there any other questions that you want to ask? Um, now, the, the article said that he, it is speculated that he was um, eaten or whatever by wild dogs, but it was in his well, unless they jumped in through the window. Yeah. It, was in a, it was in a classroom, actually. Unless they jumped in a window and ate him, I don't see how that's possible. That's bizarre. Um, I mean, I'm assuming his classroom is like in the middle of a bigger building. Yeah, you guys can find the classroom that it happened in. And you look, it's, yeah, it's just a classroom. There's windows on one side. And, um, well, it was in the middle of the night. Robert Nelson heard it. He yeah, he was the one who came and investigated first. Yeah, I got five hundred dollars right now, and a quarter over my eye. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. the police officer. So I'm pretty sure that the cop is personal because I wasn't there. Well, no, but he told you about it. Or no, 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 nobody has told you about that. No, but he was really rude and threatened, did a lot of things. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he's crooked now since okay. that he got arrested. Roger Nelson. So since he got arrested, I'm pretty sure that the articles are like almost identical. I would say Fitz would be. And I mean, both of them probably. Or he's possessed. Which one? Whoa. Whoa. Are we talking about magic here? Because. <laughs> okay, so that took you guys most of the day. We should go um, to Josiah Black. Yeah, we should. Uh, it is towards the end of the day. You might want to wait till tomorrow. You'll be catching him right at the end of the business day. Okay. And it might make him less likely to want to talk to you. Yeah, I guess we should I don't, go back. But you can still try. I'm just I'm throwing out. I think in this situation, it's we're too Okay, you guys found that information out. That took you till lunchtime. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Luck check from you. Um, are you guys still in jail? 38! Yeah, I think I'm going to deal with that. Did nobody come You made it? Yeah. Okay, you do spot a cop walking the beat in the uniform. Yeah, I think we can't do under Yeah. Yeah, she rolled under. 38. I rolled a 38 and I have to. she said she rolled a 75. No, no. Wait, what is Manfred doing all day? Oh, you're just checking out the cop, the police station. Okay, okay. You're watching how the cops come and go and all that stuff. Spying. You don't see that at all. I'll give you that. You find a cop and. You walk up, close, walk up to him. He obviously notices you. I mean, you, you stand out, and um, you do see he has Nelson on his nameplate, and he nods at you as he walks by. And um, do me a spot hidden. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was successful. That was successful. Uh, he does check you out after he walks by, and then he continues on the beat. Well, she's got a 14 appearance. She's I a good-looking woman. So he's six, six, seven. It wasn't seven. like he's like checking out your ass, but he, you did notice him look over his shoulder at you. It'd be she's hard not to yeah, check out her ass. <laughs> yeah, it's so right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little guy. Well, he's a short man. No, no, he's average right. height. Average height. Uh, let's Sorry. see, I've actually got stats for the cops here. Uh, Nelson is, his size is a 14. So he's tall. He's over six foot tall. Okay. And he just nodded to you as you walked by. You think you found Officer Nelson. That's who you wanted to talk to, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so what do you do? So I approach him. Okay. And say I've been doing some research. Yes, ma'am. To, <laughs> to what? You are I don't not know. <laughs> That's okay. Just talk to him. Just talk to me like if you were talking to him. Uh, 
Well, I know it will come as no surprise that there are people investigating these murders and such things. Yeah, Sergeant Fetz, we had run in some people who were on, uh, who are, uh, oh crap, what's the term? Under suspicion of uh, interfering with the law, ma'am. Oh dear, well I wouldn't want to do that, but, but I do have some questions because I, I found an old newspaper article that <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> He's just looking at you. He's waiting for you to continue. <laughs> he well, I just, a nice one. I just, I, I myself am a field researcher, and I've seen some, some pretty gruesome sorts of things doing archaeological digs, but, but never, never recent remains. And I heard that you found something quite unpleasant a few years back, and it, it had no descriptions other than. Wild what, what are you talking about? When was the, this? The, the murder of the college professor. Yeah, I'm the one who found that. Found it. So Fetz, Sergeant Fetch thinks it was a wild dogs attacked, or maybe it was a madman. But what? But why would it be wild dog? What? What did the body look like? How, it how was it? It was a mess. It was torn apart. Like we sent it down to the county part? seat to be to have an autopsy done by the coroner. I mean, and literally in different pieces. Was it? The ones we could find, yes. Oh. Just randomly thrown about that room? So he seems to be having trouble <laughs> describing it. Uh, it. It was it was very awful. There was, um, the legs were missing. It was like you know, some animal had ripped his legs off and taken them away. And taken them. There were That's no the legs. only way I can describe it. And the, I mean, you don't have to be afraid of shocking me. This, I'm, it shocked me. <laughs> You've never seen anything like it in all your born days. <laughs> that would go. In, that would describe it fairly well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the words that the article quoted Fetz is saying. Well, in this occasion, Fetz, and with Sarah McCorkle. Sergeant Fetz is who are. talks to the, to the to the newspaper. He's the voice of the department. He's our like our chief. He just never got made it by the town council. So. So it was pretty awful. He does not rank it was, you. Yeah, he outranks me. He's a sergeant. I'm a patrolman. Yeah. It was awful. It was a terrible, horrible thing. Were there any other pieces of the body missing? No, just his legs. They like just they got torn the off, it looked like, or something. There was a lot of blood. It was awful. Was it a clean cut? I don't remember. It was awful. <laughs> the, he, he, you're guessing this guy was pretty badly shaken by whatever he said. You'd have to talk to the county coroner. We sent it down to the county seat, and they examined it. But you're gonna probably have to get some paperwork from a judge or something to look at it. So, is there anything else? You're not with those other people investigating, are you? No, I'm. Shh. I'm Clyde, just, you. No, <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I, I heard them over okay. the talking about it. Okay. Because they've been meddling, is what Sergeant Fetz told us. But you have a nice day, yeah. ma'am. Okay. And he just goes, he doesn't seem I hostile. I feel like there's more things. Yeah, because there is. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, okay, so I dealt with you. You guys went to the newspaper you know, office the and you were hey, done we're by gonna, noon. We're going to ask about, see if there's any pictures of that particular article, the April 11th one. No, no there's a kid missing. No, no, no. A missing child. That's, no, that's May 12th. Oh, no, the one in the, at, at the, the college? No, he didn't have any photographs of that one. Okay, I was just going to I don't think. Uh... We would have handled it. Yeah. Or you might not have, you might not have <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Unless it wasn't in the paper. They, the the one picture out. that they got was so awful it didn't get published. It's Kyle G's. Yeah, but they might have archives of the unpublished. But you have to go and get arrested for. Yeah, I'm going to deal with you guys who got arrested here shortly. Um, There's a reason why they arrested me. Yeah. He was too <laughs> close to the truth. <laughs> I really want to kidnap Fetz. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a terrible idea, I'll tell you that. I, I know it's a bad idea, but no, I only want to do it. <laughs> when I told you guys Man, 1919 for the raid on the religious sect. And the adventures of man. Take out the power station. Oh, did you get it exactly? I mean, we've seen you sneeze. Yeah, just 1919. Late 1919. I've missed every little bit. Probably got to see your face. Yeah. 
I'm still screaming for you. Now there's no pictures. No, no, I might no. be mistaken, but I don't see anything. <laughs> I just heard him show the name. Oh, that? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Dude, he's oh, buff. There was a photograph for the for the yeah. There was a photograph with it. Listen up, guys. There was a photograph with the newspaper article for the Carlson case. Oh, okay. Uh, it shows a uh, stain sheet covering something on the floor in front of a near the front of a college classroom. The room seems oddly undisturbed, given that the body was found there. There's a large, ugly man in a police uniform that you recognize as Fetz, those of you who've <laughs> met him, uh, standing at the edge of the photograph, scratching the back of his head. Just like he was in the other photograph. The idea roll, uh, yeah, the idea, uh, no, um, everybody can make an idea roll who saw that photo. Everybody. everybody. Yeah, you saw I that. Saw that. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm a Crossing Dice at College Campus. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we were it. investigating. We read it. I made it. Yeah, so you made yours? Did you make yours? Yes, you saw You found it. So make an idea check. Uh, you, did you see the article about yeah. Carlson's dying? Yeah, make an idea check. You did yes. make it? You made it? Okay, did yeah. you make it? Uh, you guys noticed? Yeah, did you see the article about the Carlson death? Sure. Yeah. Okay, did you make it? Yeah. Okay, those of you who made it noticed Wait. the body seems too short. Everyone who saw one? And that was the first murder. Yes, you can make an idea check too. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, the body seems too short. It's just the people that don't know facts that won't recognize Okay. Um, so, um, and this is the, the professor, right? Yes, that's the professor that was killed. Uh, but I have a question. question. The room doesn't look disturbed. How much does it look like there's a lot of blood everywhere? Yeah, there's blood around oh, the corpse room. and maybe yeah, a spot hidden. At least. Wait, what, if you're oh, looking yeah, closely so. at the, the corpse in the photograph. The yeah, the uh, party Carlson. Uh, there was a photograph that Ooh, was 11%. Okay, we um, yeah, well, there's no sign of a blackboard. <laughs> Remember they, uh, in that picture. You did notice that. You noticed that there was the no blackboard? Right. Because I saw stood it, out. And, missing, I, and I see that. What's your face? His blackboard was missing. Seems missing, yeah. Actual okay, so, um, jail. We're up to jail time. Yay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You guys are done with your day. Man, Fred. Uh, newspaper people can go back to the, to the, to the newspaper, or, or to the newspaper office if you want to keep looking for other stuff. Yeah, we're going to look for other stuff about, like, that thing. I wanted to go to the, um, board. Is there more? Yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's more. I mean, like, the, the like a, for bodies? The yeah, like that'll be down at the county seat, probably. Where is that? Um, that is, you can find out, it takes very little research to find it. That's in Nashua, which is about 20 miles from here. Okay, so I need to go there tomorrow. Probably. Yes, you probably have to rent a car or get a taxi to drive okay. into it. So, to or take a train. There's no train that runs straight from here to Nashua. Okay. Um, this is a totally separate track. And this part. You can look on the New Hampshire map. It's underneath the city map. Okay. Uh, you guys are in Caring Cross, which, I which find. is actually why don't we circle this for you? It's hard to see. And Nashua. Actually, you could take the train, actually. Um, All right. Actually, you know what? I think we will take the train. The hell is tonight, the nighttime train. And if Feds comes, we're telling them to leave in town. You can try. I mean, if we're somewhere. at the train station, there's it's Nashua. It's the other side of the county. I'm going to Nashua. It's the other side of the county. Yeah, but if we're at the train station, you can go station. this afternoon too if you want to take a train to Nashua. Yeah. So this is what we're doing. We're taking the train to Nashua, I guess. Okay, you guys are going to Nashua this afternoon. I go. I go pick up some stuff to take with me just in case I'm stay the night. But they're leaving us. But what? Okay, let me deal with jail guys. All right, they're going to start with Dr. Huxtable. That's me. Uh, no, <laughs> they don't even believe you. They don't know who you are. <laughs> But they you were you anyway. being belligerent. Uh, <laughs> I thought you weren't, though. Dr. Perky. And this will take all day because um, about an hour after you guys are thrown in jail, uh, Fetz comes and takes Dr. Huxtable to an interrogation room. I don't, know how I don't tell him anything. Well, you're not being interrogated at this point anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so, the trouble it's a, It is a grueling session, and it's going to be still going on by the time... A lot of these people get done with their stuff. Um, he is grilling you incessantly on your whereabouts on May 7th of this year. What? May 7th? Um, <laughs> he, he asks you about your activities on January 12th of this year. Um, Teaching out the cause, of course. Uh, the He's not giving you any food or water. You don't get any breaks during this. You have a bright light in your face. Clouds of nauseating cigar smoke are blown in your face. That's screaming at you. Uh, you're handcuffed to a chair, too, by the way. Um, uh, he, he leaves through a lot. He comes back on point. He says, you know, you know, your fella, 
He's gotten all of you guys' names and written down information to you before any of this happened. Your fellow Silver Smith, he's going to cut a deal with us. So you better talk. Um, what is it? The thing. Yeah. <laughs> Separate them up and then make them think that everybody else is doing things. You can get those off him afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh. He says that uh, Silver Smith is going to cut a deal. He says he knows that you got some crazy guy that's disguising himself as you, who's running around town <laughs> doing things. <laughs> um, well, it does have that, but it's not anything to do with him. If I yeah. shouted for myself, could they hear me? <laughs> uh, they can hear somebody shouting, but they won't be able to make out any real words. I'm still um, you can actually hear Fetz so. shouting at certain times, but again, you can't make out words. You just can't scream. It is grueling. It's uh, it's like torture almost. Uh, he doesn't actually like touch you or physically do any damage to you. Um, I'm assuming you're not gonna like get up like mouth off to him either, are you? No. Okay. I'm expecting that from Bo, because I'm expecting Bo to get the rubber hose here coming up soon. The <laughs> rubber hose. Sorry. This last 12 hours. You are not given a bathroom break, no food, no water. No nothing. bathroom break. Yeah, it is awful. So I peed my pants. You probably peed your pants. Uh, in and fear. <laughs> no, not in fear, just because you couldn't hold it any longer. Um, and after 12 hours, he takes you back to the cell and just throws you back in there. And then he brings a meal for all of you. You guys haven't had any food in this time either. Do you say anything witty before you... I've just been calling him the end of telling him. <laughs> you have been calling him the end but you've been doing it politely, haven't you? No, I've been like, I've had to be in the end of the okay, okay. So he, But you're not like, okay. He doesn't Stop think it. too much of that. Um, yeah, he's brought back to the cell. You American barbarian. Okay, uh, you guys are going to Nashua, and you're going to the coroner's office. Yes. Um, you're inquiring about Carlson's body, I take it. Yes. Um, he does say you will need either a court order or you will need some. He'll need paperwork from Carlson's lawyer. Some what? The paperwork. Either a court order or or uh, paperwork from his lawyer in order to see the the notes and stuff about the body. Can I persuade him? No, no, this guy's not going to budge without a court order, without some kind of paperwork. All right, so I guess we can go talk to the lawyer. You're going to try to bribe him? <laughs> no. Uh, you can try, but you could get arrested for that, because he is a uh, public official. I'm gonna, this, this guy's name is Farley Fenstermacher. <laughs> oh, boy. Make up his names. <laughs> They're part of this. He like so silver he's silver. Silver. Yeah. Definitely Russian. So we need to go speak with Stop dropping the heat his lawyer, which I'm sure means that one of the lawyers in town. You have no idea who his lawyer is. Okay. So you'd have to get information from the lawyer or go to a judge, which can take you a week. It's clear. It's right in front of James going to his lawyer. But I probably could get well, you, you, you don't know who his lawyer is. There's so. Only a couple lawyers. There's only got to be a couple oh, lawyers. Oh, yeah. yeah. If he has a lawyer back in town, maybe that guy you could talk to. How big is he in that? National no, other is decent sized. Uh, I can give you the number if you want, but I'll have to look it up. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. It was there. Sorry. But it's the county seat. It's good size. They have a county courthouse. There's a jail. Okay, up looking for okay so you guys head back to, I guess so. to County Cross. To actually, he was actually, for the one thing, I yeah, think uh, yeah. I'm going to tell her that you know, I brought some clothes. I think we should stay here for the night. Well, what time is it? Probably about seven ish. No, no, it's not seven ish. By train, it would have taken less than an hour to get there, probably. Okay. Uh, so like it was two. afternoon, so uh, it's two or three in the afternoon. You can get in on a train back to Ken Cross if you want supper. Before it's by supper time. Yeah, but I'm just supper. saying. I'm just saying about you know. Yeah. I we had three of our you members arrested. You can say whatever arrested. you want to say. You can talk to her about this. I'm like three people were arrested last night. Everybody else is done with their day, aren't they? Yeah, you actually had time if you wanted to use it, Manfred. So you're just staking out. Anything. I'd stay here tonight. But you were staking out the police office, right? Yeah, I was police don't know anything about me. Is, is there more you want to know? No, but they do about me. <laughs> 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 what I could do about like looking in windows or finding the telephone line. I can't go ahead and tell you. There is a telephone line that goes into you. have to call the phone. It's not any hard. It's got I find the lawyer or find out if he was married. Yes. And then if you see the lawyers in Nashua, then you could get a jump on that one and I can come back. Yes. Electric, All right. All right. So you'll stay and I'll go. Electric repair. Yeah. Electric repair. Yeah, you can use electric repair to try to cut the right wire. If you cut the wrong wire, you're going to cut. You could potentially cut the power. So if you make a failure on that, you might cut the wrong wire. Just FYI. If the power's out, the phone's still out, right? Say what? Then I could. Yeah. Well, you could, yeah. <laughs> so what I assume was you staked out all morning at least. You just were kind of watching, seeing how the cops come and go. Mm -hmm. uh, and they come and go, but you see no sign of effects. The other, there's only two others. Mm -hmm. um, was there anything else you wanted to do that day? You could peek in windows. 
There are bars on the windows. If you picture like Mayberry, it's that kind of setup, except the cells are actually separate from the front of the building. Um, so I don't see them at all. Uh, you do find, yeah, there you do find the cell that they're in. Man, so you're gonna, it looks pretty, pretty solid. They, you guys are thirsty and hungry. Yeah, you guys booze. have dynamite. Oh, you got the shakes like crazy. Yeah, you got the DCs. Uh, I don't have dynamite. Dang it. I, uh, How much is dynamite? It's fairly inexpensive at the hardware store. <laughs> Damn, Manfred. <laughs> you got this guy. Don't see you No, I'm, I like Western to blow them out of the jet. Do it. We've seen too many movies. Do it, possibly. Motion pictures. Do I find Moving the, pictures, actually. Do I find the fuse box? Oh, the uh, there's not a fuse box on the outside of the building. It's on the inside? Yeah, it's inside somewhere. Ooh, espionage. Oh my god. What are you going to try to do? Tell <laughs> me how much you get, and I'll tell you how far you get before they lock you up. <laughs> As a lawyer, I assure you that anything you do to save a doctor like myself is illegal. Uh, I'm trying to <laughs> made such no sense to you. He's whatsoever. trying to sneak in. Yeah, that's obviously not Dr. Huxtable. His mustache is actually starting to come off. He's all sweaty and gross. It's not been a good day. Do I notice that they've been, like, checking in on the hotel? Who, the police? Yes. Uh-uh. No, you've been watching the police department. You can go back to the hotel and watch it for a while. Good job. Goodness. Do you have the... That's up to you. Because I don't want to sleep every night. If okay. You, if police um, are coming to take us, do you want to just like stake out the hotel for a couple hours? See if the cops show. You don't see any police officers that go in and out of the hotel during the night. Oh wait, during the day. Night in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, that's been nice. Are you gonna try to sneak into the police department? I'm dying. There's only three police. Officers. You what? All of them. I'm dying. Is there a time when both of them are gone? Uh, yeah. There's been times when both of the other two police officers have left the police department. They don't, and, and they don't follow a real specific pattern that you've been able to discern. It's like they come and go as they need to come and go or as, as, as they please. Mm. So it's hard to tell. Like when one leaves, if, when he'll be coming back. Right. And this is a building you can go in and out normally, right? Like the police department, yeah, there's a couple of big double doors in the front. Um, there's a back door. Uh, and I'll assume you checked it. It is locked from the outside. You did find that out. Um, or the outside is locked. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty small police department, one story tall. Um, Jeez. Anything else? Oh, man. I wish I would do something. You can do anything you want. It's working. Dynamite. No, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Almost anything. Okay. I have done you can also wait till this evening and you get together with the others and talk to them about, about the whole situation. Here. Can you maybe sneak uh, and get some moonshine? He's scared. He's got the shape. It's just man. bars and windows, probably glass windows. So no, it's just bars over the windows. There's no glass. Can you sneak in the cup, dog? Just the cup. Wait, can I talk to him? Yeah, you can talk to him. Yes, yeah. Oh, talk to totes, him. I'm sorry. I thought I made that. Wow, thanks. You wasted the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you snuck up, because he even talked to you, he said, hey, anything you do as a lawyer, I can advise anything you do to save a doctor like me is fine, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, whatever. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, you can talk with him. Yeah, give me some of my moon juice. I'm not in there, right? No, right now you're in an interrogation room, which is completely sealed off the room. Just the between the bars. Just, just a cup. Just a cup. Just steal it from the hotel. Steal, steal it from the hotel. Yeah, yeah. And, get and carry it down to the police station yeah. where it's yeah. illegal to hold alcohol. Yeah, yeah. For your buddy. And give it to a prisoner.